Bronx drill is one of the hottest movements in the rap game right now, and it's also the wildest. Drill music has always been surrounded by violence, but the Bronx is taking it to a whole new level. And today, we're breaking down the wild story of C. Blue, the 16-year-old Bronx rapper who shot a cop. C. Blue was born and raised in the Bronx, but his early life wasn't as bad as a lot of drill rappers. The Bronx has a reputation for being dangerous, but C. Blue told Fuchsia's TV that it's only wild if you're really in the streets. When he was younger, Blue played sports and was really into science, and even though he's popping off in the rap game, he still plans on going to college. He told Fuchsia's, I'm on my school shit still, you gotta be smart, I wanna be a biochemist, besides this rapping shit. Blue caught a gun charge when he was just 14 years old, but he didn't spend any time locked up because he was charged as a juvenile, but he did get probation. C. Blue had always been interested in music and would make beats and freestyle at school, but after he caught the gun charge, he started taking music more seriously. It didn't take long for him to start popping off, and last August, he dropped the track Ozone and racked up over 4 million views on YouTube. He followed it up with a run of hot tracks and was working with dudes like Set the Trend, Dougie B, and his homie K Flock. And not before long, he had major labels looking at him, and Blue ended up signing a six figure deal with Interscope. After just a few months, Blue was already one of the hottest new rappers in the Bronx drill scene. But before he could take it to the next level, he got into a wild situation that ended up with him and a cop both getting shot. Back in January, Blue was with a group of friends outside a building in the Bronx. According to the cops, when they showed up, Blue stepped towards a car and put his hands in his pockets. A cop told him to take his hands out, and when Blue refused, they started fighting. At some point, the gun Blue was carrying went off, and the bullet went through his legs and hit the cop, too. Both of them were taken to the hospital, and then Blue got hit with assault and weapon charges. His lawyer, Don Florio, claims Blue was targeted by the cops because he's a rapper. She said, my client never touched the gun. You could hear the people saying that they thought the police officer shot my client. Blue allegedly posted his 250k bail with the money he got from Interscope. The cops was mad he was given bond, but the judge on the case said that the arresting officer's account of the situation was incredible and unreliable. The judge also said that the video of the arrest proved that Blue did everything you tell your child to do when they're approached by the cops. A week after Blue posted bond, the cops booked him again for violating his probation. He was still on probation from his 2020 weapon charge, so he got sent back to Juvie for carrying another gun during the January arrest. The president of the NYPD Benevolent Association, Patrick Lynch, said, We're glad that a cop shooter is back off the street, but this revolving door for a repeat gun offender makes no sense whatsoever. It should be clear to every New Yorker that our justice system is broken in many places. At first, the shooting case was going to go in front of the Bronx Supreme Court, but the judge decided to move it to family court instead. And in May 2022, the city dropped the case completely and Blue was released again. Obviously, Blue was happy with the news, but Patrick Lynch called the decision to drop the charges absurd. He said, This absurd decision should outrage every New Yorker who wants to get illegal guns off our streets. There is no dispute that this individual was caught carrying an illegal gun for the second time. If perps like this face absolutely no consequences, even after shooting a cop, we have to ask, why bother sending us out to get guns at all? C. Blue got right back to the grind and dropped even more videos that racked up hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, and it was clear that the legal issues weren't slowing them down. Blue reps a Rolling 60s Crips set called Rayway, which is clicked up with Sev's side DOA and known to beef with sets like the YGs and Drillies. And like most dudes in the drill scene, Blue is always dissing ops on social media and in his music. He's known for going on live with his ops on IG, and Blue told Fuchsia TV he does it because I want to show everybody how they broke, just like clowning them like a lot of that shit funny. That's really it. Dissing ops is normal in the drill scene, but it also leads to a lot of death and violence. Last year, C. Blue hopped on Dougie B's track Geeked with a rapper named C. High Watts, and then in February, C. High was shot and killed outside a studio. On Tuesday, September 27th, Blue was allegedly sitting in a Hyundai about two blocks down from the Bronx Zoo when the cops pulled up on him. It's not clear exactly what went down, but cops claim they spotted a pistol underneath Blue's passenger seat and told him to get out of the car. According to some sources, the cops saw Blue fumbling with his waistband and running towards the car, and that's why they stopped him in the first place. After he was charged, Blue's lawyer said, My client was outside the car. Police comes with their guns out, circling around the block. A lot of video surveillance taken by cameras. Police targeted my client, gun is drawn, he was scared for his life. He took out his phone, his hands were up. According to his lawyer, Blue was trying to call his mom when the cops arrested him. His mom told the New York Post it was another stop that shouldn't have happened. 
another stop and frisk and the same group of kids being targeted by the same cops and then finding something that didn't belong to my son. It's not fair at all. See, Blue is only 17 and according to the post, he broke down in tears when the judge held him on a $100,000 bail for the new case. The assistant district attorney on the case told the judge that Blue's social media contains multiple posts with firearms and implications of willingness and ready ability to shoot any member of the opposition. Blue's lawyer tried to convince the judge that he was dissing ops as part of his career and that he's just a kid, but the judge wasn't feeling it and said that this was C. Blue's third run in with the law and this is a serious offense. It's not clear exactly what went down the night he got arrested, but this time the charges might actually stick. Last time, the judge took it easy on Blue and aired out the cops for stopping them without any reason, but it doesn't seem like the judge in his new case is going to let him off easy. Back in May, he went on Talk of the Town and talked about how he doesn't plan on rapping forever. It's just something he does for fun. Well, it's already a career right now, but like that's not something I want to do my whole life. Hopefully, he can chase his dreams and become a biochemist after college. And if what his mom said is true and the gun isn't even his, the whole thing could get thrown out if his lawyer can prove it. But even if the charges go through, Blue still doesn't have any adult convictions on his record, so the sentencing shouldn't be too crazy.